It's dig up. Oh, it's gonna break three pounds. <laughs> Maybe. Nah. Close. <sighs> Woohoo! That's a Carolina rig. You throw a Carolina rig in Texas. <laughs> and that's what happens. They choke it. It's a great way to cover water. Uh, the bites are real weird. They're mushy. A lot of times you don't know you got a bite. They'll pull back on you. But, man, I've caught so many fish on Carolina rig. It's crazy. Definitely make me some good money off Carolina rig. Good fish. Pretty markings. It is fan. So I just caught that fish on a Carolina rig. Um, man, it's one of the, the most widely used, easiest things to use. Uh, very simple to rig up. It takes, there is a few variances to it that you can do uh, with the weight, the leader length, you know, what hook, baits, all that kind of stuff. Um, there is techniques how to work the bait, um, how to use the rod to your advantage. Uh, but I'll just explain to you my basic setup, and this is what I use pretty much all the time. So I have a 7.6 Cash and Rods flipping stick is what I use. Um, it's got a lot of backbone, and it holds it all the way three-quarter way up through the rod. Um, stiff tip still. It gives you a lot of backbone for making a super long cast because you're throwing a one ounce weight, three quarter ounce weight. So you can absolutely launch it. You can cover a ton of water with it. So basically I'm running 20 pound high seas fluorocarbon. And here's the setup here. What I've got is a one ounce weight. This is a one ounce tungsten. I don't always use the tungsten, but you can use the lead, um, egg weights, whatever. And then I've got a glass bead, which is important. Uh, go with the glass, it's a lot louder. You can hear it clicking. And then I've got a number seven swivel, and that is also what comes after the swivel is another uh, section. I got a long deal on here right now. That's, you know, four, four foot or so. That's 20 pound Hossie's fluorocarbon also. And then I've got a four aught owner wide gap, uh, just an offset worm hook is what it is. And I've got that just a lizard on there today. Um, there's so many different baits that you can throw with it. But uh, I'll run through a basic cast with it and just a couple little specific deals that you can do with the rig. So uh, <laughs> be very careful. Mind your grass and mind the person in the back of the boat. And you kind of lob it. You don't whip it, you kind of lob it because you got a lot of leader. So you can throw this thing way out there. And the, the thing that I really like about throwing a Carolina rig is the hook to land ratio is awesome. When they pick up that weight, and I'll show you what I mean when I get done with this cast, but basically you need to stay in contact with the bottom the whole time. Some days they want it where you just kind of keep moving it like this. And other days it's like you just inch it. And when you feel something, you kind of just pop it over it just work it back in as long it doesn't matter this is kind of shallow here you can work it up as long as your weight does not leave the bottom or to the side any kind of deeper water go to the side but here's a deal I really like about it like I talk about the hook to land ratio on a Carolina rig here's the purpose of rigging this like this if this sinker is laying on the bottom and you're dragging it and he picks up that bait right there he can absolutely move freely. There is no tension on that fish except for what you put on him. So you see the line, the weight sits still and the line will slide back and forth. So don't ever go with them pre-rigged ones. Always rig them yourself uh, and then lean into them when they bite. And I'm talking real down till you got pressure and really give them a big sweeping hook set and you'll hook them every time. <laughs> 